warm good afternoon, respected authorities. I thank you join with my co-author, Jata Bachar, Srista Sharkar, and be powered by Dr. Rakesh Dasar. I am belonging to Department of Pharmacy, Uttarakhand Technical University, Dehradun. Would like to extend my gratitude for having given me this execute opportunity to culminate my presentation on innovative versatile detector techniques to predict and improve hemodynamic defects, integrated therapy against alopecia. Hopefully the talk will eventuate in a meaningful discussion. Okay, coming over to it. Need for, need for invention. Alopecia. What is alopecia? Alopecia means usually wildness or a hair loss. Alopecia is a symptoms of a hair follicles and the pilocarpus muscle tissues for malnutrition. Some nutritional supplements are iron, biotin, zinc, heavy metals, carrying waters. Here we can see that the either due to a tensions, decline the autonomic nervous systems, metastasis tissues, rupturing or vascular defects. Heavy metals like toxicity, bio zinc, coppers, and also a factor like age factors. By due to a, a growing up, the most in aging factors like uh, uh, getting older, the normal, the hair loss is coming. But by the heredity, this hair loss is also in both male and female, which develops via types of alopecia. It is also an alopecia areta, which uh, is due to a cancer treatment via our radiate therapies. To nourish the hair follicles and pillar corpus muscles, tissues constant nutritional blood supply, which is very needed. This detection techniques brings the tracing of a bulk cluster, blockage, identification of disrupted tissues or heavy metals. Detection for electrodes understood by a rubefficient. Now, what is rubefficient? Rubefficient is useful for our uh, it is useful for our blood supply. So next we see here what is the head skull pathophysiology and anatomy. Here you can see the pathophysiology or anatomy of the head skull. Uh, this is the skull of the skin. Here we can see the layers of abdomen, dermis, subcutaneous, cutaneous, and space pericarms. This is the epidermis where we can spell contains multi layers like a stratum corneum, stratum sperneum, stratum vestae, and granules. Beneath it, there we can see our dermis. Dermis, which, which is the structure contains such as a hair follicle, sweat gland. Excuse me, uh, your slides are not moving actually. Uh, could you move it with uh, manually? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just wait, sir. Uh, it's a pathophysiology of a scalp skin, reason for alopecia. No, I mean. I mean that your slides, you still showing the title slide, so it's not moving. You have not, to make a next next slide. So it's not working. Yeah, it's not working. I mean, we can see the slide, but it's not moving to the next. So you make it manually next. So wait. Okay, you re-upload again, please. Okay, sir. <clears throat> so now you can see my slide yes we can see okay move ahead next slide okay it's fine okay sir yes please uh, you can please end now Mm -hmm. uh, here we can talk about a head skull skin anatomy and pathophysiology. Firstly, we can see here the uh, abdominal cells where we contain some multi layers like stadium corneum, stadium spinal, stadium brushes, and stadium dermis. Beneath the abdominal, we can see a dermis found which contain a structures like a glands, sweat glands, and others. Also, a thicker layer of a connective tissue beneath, known as a reticular layers. After this, we can see here a pericrum corpus, which are gallinia, and so some important structure with the skull. Uh, here we can see also some areolar tissues or compressed network of a reticular fibers in the skulls, where we can found the hairs which attach to the areolar tissues. 
Here we can see a mechanism of lubrifacient on the head skull. Lubrifacient is it is an application that a substance for a topical application that produces the redness of the skin by causing a dilation of the capillaries and increases the blood circulation. It is very helpful in the uh, growing of a new hairs by causing a dilation of the capillaries, further the increasing in the blood circulation. That is very helpful for growing the hair follicles. Now we comes to our device. Here we uh, our device which we design, uh, which trace the hair follicles or which traces or scanning the necrosis, necrotic tissues or dis tissue distortion. Uh, the design of the detectors mean to detection the cellular biointegrity or evaluate the function of the scalp skin. Uh, here we trace or scan the necrotic tissue. Then our magnetic influx resonance index their characters. Also, we regulate their the temperature of the devices. And last one is a Doppler sound producer. This is our device. Here we can found the uh, readings, which uh, we uh, which when we on the device, then the readings comes, which are temperature we can giving to a person or applying the ruby efficient. They are the temperature which can, which we see, uh, seen over it. Uh, it this device also produces sound when we find any a necrotic tissue or a dis tissue dissociation. Then the sound is co uh, coming by a Doppler, which is very good for uh, very good for imagining that there is a, a, a tissue distortion or any apoptosis occur. Now we can see the working and principle. The device, uh, this device is a multi-faced, means uh, they have so many features. Like initially, this, uh, this device uh, compels the uh, tracer scanning or uh, magnetic response or temperature regulatory path uh, and a Doppler sound tracer. Uh, here we can see the blood is constructed of block vessels. Then it, this device main sound, which could be a trace through a Doppler test. Phenomena and destructive point of the blood flow. Uh, the destructive tissue textures and diagnosis for sent magnet results and implications could be further triggered after by rubyfusion. Uh, rubyfusion is applicable for the normalize the blood flow and blood flow will be improve the micronutrient supply by make healthier hair follicle and healthy pilocarpus muscles. Here we comes to methodology. Uh, first, we have to trim the hair of the patient or a volunteer. Uh, there is no patches in on the head. Next, we uh, est uh, next we estimate the normal underneath skin anatomy. Then uh, we comes to detect the vascular occlusion or a tissue distortion by switching on the uh, device and Doppler test. A Doppler test record met, uh, metal caliber detection on volunteer suffers. Uh, after this step, we uh, evaluate the value of the uh, skin. Uh, after the tissue distortion and before the tissue distortion. After the application of a revision, which is very beneficial for the, that patient for growing the healthy or a, benef a, a good hair follicles with antioxidant amelia, extract to anti-trim hair. Next, we goes to a mat uh, magnetic flux that autom uh, automatically start with a get blocked and necrosis. Uh, the process of phagocytosis and free radical scavenging phenomena is stimulated by AMLA. Here we use a AMLA or a turnic because they are a natural drugs, which is very good for our antibiotic natures and anti-inflammatory natures. Uh, some ointments we use, AMLA, turnic, and minoxidils. We can further study about it. Uh, here we uh, use AMLA. AMLA can treat a hair loss efficacy and actually it helps in strengthening the hair follicles and reduce the hair trimming. The main thing is that the AMLA helps to reduce oxidative stress and reduce free radicals. Next, we go to again in at the third step, we uh, detect the vascular occlusion and tissue distortion by switching the switching on the devices. Uh, after the magnetic flux, it start uh, it start moving around the head. Then then it produce a sound where it find any blockage or any necrotic tissue. It a sound by uh, Doppler uh, devices. The process by a phagocytosis and pre radical scavenging phenomena is stimulated and followed by a depending dosing azithromycin. Some tablets which is also used for a this tissue distortion or uh, hair follicles like uh, azithromycin, metformin, and extreme uh, cases for maltifosin. Here are the compositions. These are some ointments which are used for uh, hair uh, follicles. Uh, 
for a good hair follicles like a pure amla terminate and minoxidil these pure uh, these ointments like a pure amla and terminix i uh, i already uh, i already told you that amla has a uh, oxidative state and reduces to free radicals and terminix is an anti inflammatory powder it just to inhibit uh, arh or which damage the uh, which uh, arh is when it uh, inhibit arh then no damage of hair follicles and stop hair loss there are some tablets like azithromycin and corticoid and metformin uh, the good thing of these ta uh, tablets and uh, ointments they have no any adverse effect and drug interaction so we can easily take these uh, drugs or ointment now comes to ethics the ointment is also having a uh, known uh, natural ethical uh, community that i further uh, telling about our amla and uh, uh, turmeric application of the uh, we applied it on five volunteers uh, from six month we applied from a five volunteers the patients who's having a anti uh, who's having a hypertension who's having a uh, carcinoma who uh, carcinoma who's having a depression or a rti infection volunteers we apply on these uh, we give him with a combination of a drugs uh, like a therapeutic protocols you can see here you can see here uh, some patients uh, some, pa some patients under therapy uh, first uh, for a skin fungus uh, volunteers under this skin fungus we give him a combination of minoxidil and metformin minoxidil why we give him minoxidil minoxidil is used as a anti hypertensive medication treating for androgenic alopecia and also we giving him a tablet like a metformin metformin is a lower blood sugar level and improving the way of the body handling insulin it is also not having any adverse effect in drug, drug interaction second volunteer is our uh, carcinoma volunteer patient uh, who is having a carcinoma uh, uh, it is a type of a cancer that is start in the cells uh, then we give him a combination of azithromycin and maltifosin azithromycin is a medication tablet which we give uh, which we give as an antibiotic which is for immunological agent affect the immune system and cell that may be attacking attacking for hair follicles then we give him uh, with the combination of maltifosin maltifosin what maltifosin do for hair uh, it is in a free living amoeba infections like it is used for treat of lesima it is also have no any adverse effect and drug interaction now our third patient is a hypertension patient uh, which is under the therapy and we give him the combination of uh, two drugs like a beta blocker beta blocker drugs like a which reduce the blood pressure like a propanol atenol and ismanol and our uh, second drug is uh, ma'am you have a few minutes to conclude please minoxidil like a uh, okay sir minoxidil like uh, to metformin lower body sugar level it also have no adverse effect in drug infection uh, further we uh, it take it from a rti infection person or depression uh, depression persons uh, we given the combination of uh, two drugs there is no adverse effect and drug infection now we come to novelty of work this infection is coming from a new angle of ad and therapeutic drug activity magnetic resonance therapy called uh, compressions or increase the preliminary diagnosis in different dimension uh, it is uh, this is the first time to detect a, a protect of a hair follicles and healthy tissue with surgery and stick coils the gap of study uh, here it's also a first time innovative detection techniques and synergistic of by a ruby patient uh, by the flowing of the blood uh, blood uh, and emerging the technique of initiation fulfill the detecting tissue destruction Uh, here we comes to anticipated benefits. Uh, uh, it's uh, to evaluate the actual cause of alopecia or avoiding the random uh, experiment like a uh, alopecia areata or uh, how the hair loss from uh, uh, the uh, substances like a uh, get of a vascular dis disorder through a droplet uh, test ma ma machines and detect the metal. heavy metal moment like copper or uh, biotin jinx and evaluating the drug therapies through synergizing techniques by magnetic flux or reduce the hindrance there is no drug interaction or no adverse effect it is a very good thing for these all medication like natural plants or a tablet 
there is a disadvantage like uh, we can't find the mechanism of the tissue uh, tissue distortion or necrotic tissue but we can find how we, where where we find the uh, necrotic tissue or where we find the tissue distortion uh, there are new innovation techniques so application is lim limited thank you so much sir Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, do we have any questions?